Yo, what is going on my G's? Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm gonna be giving y'all a day in my life video. I'm a car mechanic, so I'm gonna be showing y'all what I do daily. Um, every day is different. There's different cars that I work on daily. So just whatever comes to the door is what we fix. Right now I got a, it's a 15 Ford Explorer. What we're gonna be doing to this one is we're gonna be changing out the front struts, serpentine belt, both sway bar links, and both uh, air filters. And I am going to be doing a battery cable on this one too. So yeah, let's check this out. Yeah, y'all guys could probably see why I need to change that battery cable out. But front struts are popping really bad when you turn. Let me see if you guys can hear it. That's a uh, spring noise. But yeah, guys, let's get on to it. Let's go ahead and get this changed out. All right, guys, so this is the battery cable. I really didn't think that it was going to have that many connections. But what I went ahead and did is I took the air box off. I'm going to go ahead and spray the terminals with brake cleaner. Go ahead and raise this thing up because I have a feeling that some of these connections connect to that steering rack and to something else, but we'll see. Alright guys, so now I just realized that the positive and the negative cable are all in one. So, one side it connects to the alternator, and then it runs to the starter, to the middle. And then I think the other side goes to the rack, and there's also the ground points. There's one there, and I believe there's one down here as well. So now I'm going to have to raise up the car so I can get the rest of them. Okay guys, so I went ahead and took off the connections off the electronic power steering. There was a ground, a ground here and there was two big connectors, what they look like. Now, I'm gonna have to go ahead and take that whole loom off. Comes off the bell housing bolts, take it loose, or just pull them back, back because they're all pushed in with clips. And then go back to the top and take off the rest and then fish out the whole the whole assembly. Old harness out. And with the new one. Okay, so one of the grounds ended up breaking on me. It just the eyelet broke on me. I guess when I tightened it, I tightened it too much and it just snapped right off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another one on it. Throw some heat shrink on it and uh, go ahead and get that ground fixed. This is that connector that broke off? Heat shrink. Good, isn't it? Went ahead and got the new cable put in. Also went ahead and put a new battery. Went ahead and put everything back together too. Now it's time to put the struts on. Sway bar links. So in order to take out the strut, you're going to have to take off the ABS wire to the side. Take both of these bolts completely out. Um, take off the, the sway bar here. The link. And do the nut from there and then from here and this should come out. Then you'll have four nuts on top and it should just come right out.
All right, my G's, well, I got the, the driver's side put on. I gotta do the passenger side now, but it's already 1 p.m., so I'm gonna go ahead and go to lunch. And when I get back, I'll go ahead and pick up the camera again. See you then. All right, my G, so I'm back from lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out the other side. It's the same process as this side, the driver's side, so there's no point in uh, recording it. So once I'm done with that side, I'll drop the vehicle back down and then I'll tighten up the strut nuts on top. Then we should be good to go from there. Alrighty guys, I finally got that passenger strut put on with the new sway bar link. Now since I got this wheel off on the passenger side, I'm gonna go ahead and change out the, the belt. I need to take off these two clips to get to the belt and I'll change the belt all real quick. Okay guys, so I got the strut nuts torqued down to spec. I went ahead and got the new belt put on. It's down there. I just gotta put the engine cover back on. Throw the cabin air filter in it and this thing's done. Guys, look at the cabin filter on this thing. This thing's the factory one. All that dirt and stuff that builds up. There's a new filter. What a difference. All right guys, so that wraps it up for this one. New struts, new battery cable, new battery, new belt. No more front end noise. That cabin filter uh, was clogged up with dirt. The AC's blown a lot more colder. Yes sir. Let's see what's next. Alrighty guys, so while I wait for more work, I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all a, a roll cart tour of what all kinds of tools I got in my roll cart. So I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that now. Okay, this is my roll cart. Roll cart, just the basic one that I got from Harbor Freight. I got all my snap-on swivels, 3 8 quarter inch, uh, 3 8 drive impact sockets. That's what we mostly use here at the shop. Uh, I got, um, short mid and deep all metric three eighths random sockets on my torx sockets quarter inch deep quarter inch shallow spark plug sockets pick set flashlight pry bars and this here's a panel for the clip removal then i got more of the clip removal ones over here those are snap on. I recommend these. These are real, real handy. Then I got all my screwdrivers. Then the first drawer here. I got my quarter inch impact, three eighths impact, uh, mini torch, angle die grinder, and then my quarter inch uh, electric ratchet, three eighths. And then I got that long reach 3 8 as well. Then in this, I have all my ratchets and stuff. Just miscellaneous stuff in there too, but mostly ratchets. Then I got my double-sided ratcheting wrenches, long ones. These are real, real good for belts and stuff on them front-wheel drive cars. Quarter inch extensions just the back pro kit solder back there and just random sockets swivels this is a brake tool my O2 sensor tool just a uh, snap on pliers set and my voltmeter and a, and a gasket scraper and a gasket scraper I really don't have anything in this drawer, just my soldering iron, an extra battery for my power tools, and then some more uh, Allen head sockets, and then just random stuff in here. Then down here, I have my coolant tester and my coolant refiller, 
some sockets that are impact and a, a puller set and I got a funnel that spill free funnel these things are real good and just my hammer and some sprays got another toolbox here but that's mostly my junk it just has junk in it really um, the only drawer I really use is just for my wrenches but I got them scattered everywhere because I hardly ever use those but when I do I just come to this toolbox and just grab them out real quick but uh yeah I just have spare sockets that I really don't even use ratchets and stuff like that screwdrivers electrical wires and stuff like that Okay, that's basically all the tools I really use. I mean, I'm still going to get more, but these tools are too expensive and that bill adds up real, real quick. But I'll, I'll get more tools here and there, but you got to be patient. guys before I call it a day I'm gonna have to put this escalate all back together I took had to take the timer cover off to inspect some stuff back there or in there and uh, gotta get, go ahead and put the water pump back on add some coolant and that should be it for today you guys alrighty guys I got everything put back together on the escalate all I gotta do tomorrow is just add the coolant right now it's quitting time so I'll just go ahead and do that tomorrow morning. Yes, sir. Alrighty, guys, so I'm on my way back home. Uh, today's video was just a video of me, what I do at work. I know it was kind of like a more of a how-to video, but I just wanted to show y'all what I do at work. Um, if y'all do like the videos, please leave me a comment in the comment section telling me that y'all like the work vlogs and I'll do more. Stay tuned for more for more videos on the truck i have more plans for the truck i hope y'all really liked the video today if y'all did like i said give me a, a like and a comment and we'll do more of those thank you guys for watching uh please like comment and subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you on the next one peace